of 160 Premier League goals now. And that means he is 100 off Alan Shearer's record. He's only 27 years old. We heard uh, Jamie Radnapp say that there's no doubt that he will surpass Shearer's total. What do you think, though? I agree. I, I agree. I mean, he's phenomenal. And the way he's adapted his game this season, he sort of reminds me a bit like a Kevin De Bruyne sometimes. You know, the way he's he, he's dropping back. Like City obviously play with this false nine and it works with Kane and Son. Kane with the through balls is he's top of the assists um, in the Premier League this season. That's how much he's adapted his game. He's, the, the, the worry for me with Harry Kane would be to not get this record is if he suffers with, with a serious injury. Last season, it was a ruptured hamstring that potentially would have ruled him out for the whole season if it wasn't for COVID stopping the season, but he got that serious injury last January. But you've seen from the last five years, he always picks up these ankle ligament injuries. He picked one up in January, but he wasn't out for too long, thankfully. But people say, well, he, he, you know, he, he'd only break the record if he, if he joined another Premier League club. I'm not so sure. I still think he'd break the record at Spurs. Um, but at, at City, for example, there's, in my opinion, no doubt he would break it. But you know, going on to Harry, you know, there'll be talk again about his future over the next few weeks and months, I'm sure. And when he was walking off that night, the other night in Croatia, he probably thought, I can't take this anymore. And I, I heard Peter Crouch say, Harry Kane should not be playing in the Europa League. He should play, be playing at the very top competitions, winning the very top competitions. And that's a very fair point. But when the dust settles, you know, he absolutely loves the club. Um, and we'll have to wait and 